Hello and welcome to the second installment in the Linux for Cybersecurity. I'm Zach and I will be walking you through this process. And today we want to look at now that you've had your machine installed, you have your Kali box ready. How can you optimize it? How can you make sure to be able to keep it updating, etc.? So let's get started. Notice we have the virtual machine here. Uh, my screen is maximized, however, this is not. And we are running on the default root. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And we are looking at the standard Kali distribution. So normally with a Linux machine, the first thing you want to do is do a sudo apt-get, or in this case an apt-get install and or an app get update and that will sync it up to the current uh, rolling update. So we do that by saying apt apt get update and notice it just says reading package list done. Well apt get let's look at what an upgrade does nothing right so the first thing we have to do is we need to set up the sources and the easiest way to do this is to type in nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list and it will look something to this effect and what we need to do is get the distribution um, for the Kali rolling, right? And so we can do that simply by saying deb, well, deb slash http slash uh, colon slash slash http dot Kali dot org slash Kali. And then we need to provide it with the additional um, depositories. And that is Kali dash rolling. We have main contrib, contrib, and non dash free. Now we can just go ahead and hit Control S. Control X and close out of that. Now, if we back arrow, uh, uh, there we go to our apt get update, and we'd run it. Notice now it's actually making a connection, and it is finding the Kali Kali rolling, the Kali Kali rolling main, Kali rolling contrib, and the Kali rolling non free. So now it looks like we're doing something. Now this should be updated because we just pulled the latest version uh, from the Kali uh, distribution. So we should be good to go. However, we can also do an update. That is if my virtual machine. One of the problems that we're having here, of course, is we do not have the uh, VM tools installed, which makes for a more problematic installation. Okay, so we do an apt get upgrade. Now notice it has a lot of upgrades. We'll say yes. We'll go ahead and run that upgrade. And I'm going to pause the video. When it's done, I'll be back and we'll continue. All right, excellent. That took about seven or eight minutes to run through all the updates, or the upgrades, excuse me. Now we need to clean up our mess. And we can do that by saying, apt get auto remove and it says hey okay we've got we built the dependencies zero upgraded zero newly installed zero to remove 96 not upgraded now we can also do what's called a chain and the way you do that is you say uh, uh, apt get update can't speak. apt get um, upgrade 
and apt get auto remove. And if you run all three of them together, it will do all three steps at the same time. Now it went quick because there was nothing to update or remove. Everything was already done. But it's a very nice way if you want to just set it and forget it. So let's clear that. Now we have a second issue, and that is the tools. There are several ways to install tools. One of the easiest that I found, though, is just to say apt dash y install open vm tools desktop. And that's a dash in between each. Open dash vm dash tools dash desktop. These two lines of code will also be in the uh, the notes below. All right. So now it wants to install those tools, and these are the tools that um, help give you better control over your remote desktop or your virtual machine. And so we'll let that run for a minute. Notice it hit the desktop modified it to fit the screen all by itself very nice we'll also get better keyboard control and other features that will improve our notice now the keyboard is more responsive things are working much better and finally we can now take a good look at the software that's available to us we're going to go over a good amount of these over the course of this uh, tutorial um, course set. And basically, we're looking to just build a good, solid foundation that will allow you to experiment, work, capture the flags and other CTF type programs using the standard basic tools of Kali Linux. Well, thank you for your time. I hope you have in learned uh, that you've learned something new and you found this to be beneficial. If so, please subscribe, hit the like button, and receive notifications in order to stay current. Thanks a lot. Happy hacking.